Hi, this is Cynelia Benz, and as promised, I am now answering your questions from the Death of the Unspoken Truth class. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken. The next one is from Iwa, and she says, Hi, Inelia. I guess that angelic souls going straight back to angelic soul collective or maybe to oneness or God, which I feel I know can be one of the reasons of byproducts of earthly incarnations because the so-called God realized or one with the creator when they leave physical body, but it will be interesting to hear your view on that. Do you have any experience or did you have some look at that? If there can also be other choices, then go back to the soul collective, for example. Even if I feel that this could be perhaps a very rare case, but I'm most curious about beings like Christ or Buddha. If that happened, that they incarnate into a human body again with a task to accomplish, how would it look like if, when um, I leave the flesh body, there is no bigger collective to return into, like the angelic souls, and returning dissolving into oneness? Will it mean that the soul being will dissolve until it appears again next time? To do some work again or will those deep qualities high is caring remain and part of oneness but the soul itself would dissolve but appear again perhaps that is intriguing to me to understand or no but i have the intuition that high will dissolve on personal level as a soul and remain as a permeating quality of oneness or god so what is your view on that have you taken a look at that that is a bit fascinating to my journey okay i think i understand your question but I'm not 100% sure, okay? So, I think what you're saying is that you're interested in angelic beings, right? Um, when the angelic being who has incarnated into a physical body and becomes a human being and they die, do they go back to their collective? I say that, yes, they go back to their collective, but they don't have to stay there. Um, people and beings have many choices and just like they chose to have a human experience they can choose to have another human experience or they can choose to have go back to their collective um, and other high frequency beings will also naturally and usually after a bit of healing return to their original collective the one that they evolved in or the, the one that they identify most with now, with regards to beings like Christ or Buddha or other enlightened beings, what happens to them? I found that they are more subtle human, I mean, they're more subtle entities. And they usually, some of them do keep their form after they die. And they do carry on with the mission that they had here on this planet. There is no one rule about it all. Um, each individual takes different step forward. Sometimes, yes, the being um, comes to earth with a limits itself in its enlightenment or expression to be a human being, and then leaves and goes back to their original frequency. Um, now that frequency we we can call all sorts of things. Some beings do dissolve completely. Their singular identity was a one-off. Um, normally they're called avatars, I think. They come here uh, directly from an expression of oneness. Um, their soul identity or their the individual construct identity is very um, limited uh, to the human experience. And also after their incarnation ends, that construct, that soul construct dissolves because it's no longer needed. So what could we say? Do we say that they went back to oneness? They didn't because they never left oneness and they never, they dissolve, they don't exist after, before or after this incarnation. Um, it could be said that they become oneness again, <laughs> but that's actually a limited view. Um, they don't they just dissolve, they, they stop existing. Um, now their, their, um, their like effect, the effect they had on this planet or the identity that people have 
created for them or a need for it to continue existing. Sometimes the soul construct that was created to express in a human body to, for the human experience, this that subtle soul construct will continue for a limited time in a more subtle way in order to make um, life easier, I guess, for other people, right? Um, so, for example, you have a being called, I don't know, uh, Rob. <laughs> so, Rob is an expression of oneness. Come to the human collective to assist it in some way. And or you know, it doesn't even have to be the human collective. It could be just a family within the human collective or one person in the human collective. And so Rob comes in, becomes, right? Becomes a soul and incarnates into a physical body. Does the job that he came here to do. And then he his physical body dies. Now, naturally, Hugh's soul construct that came to do that job is done and it would dissolve and there would be no longer a Rob. Now, imagine that the soul beings that Rob touched on the planet needed to have him exist after they die in a more subtle realm. So the soul construct that is Rob stay, sticks around until that secondary job is done, the in-between life's job is done. Uh, sometimes there will be the essence of it and you talked a little bit about the qualities and the essences of that being permeating or remaining right within i don't know the human collective perhaps <laughs> and um that is also possible the frequencies the effects and the teachings that rob brought will carry on and that gives the people a sense that rob exists beyond his physical body and that he's still there. Um, so all these are possibilities and are possible, but they're different. So each case is very unique and very different. So what Buddha did, um, and I'm thinking that you're talking about the Western known Buddha, um, and what Christ did, for example, um, they're not the same. They're different experiences for each of them and for the collectives that uh, follow their teachings are very different too and their experience both in life and in the afterlife's experience of these beings is different okay so I hope that this <laughs> answered your questions and has clarified some of my viewpoints about soul constructs when it comes to high frequency beings that come for a particular role and mission on this planet the information in this video relates to my class, Death, the Unspoken Truth. If you haven't downloaded the class yet, you can get it from ineliabenz.com slash unspoken.